Okay, so welcome back. Uh, so now what we're going to do is apply uh, this uh, stuff that we discussed in the previous video about how to extract the moments from the moment generating function. We're going to apply that for the uh, gamma, uh, a, a random variable x, which was distributed gamma a lambda. And uh, two videos ago, we calculated the moment generating function uh, for uh, such a random variable, and we found that it was going to equal uh, lambda to the power of a divided by lambda minus t to the power of a. Okay, so if we now want uh, the first moment, so if we want the first moment, the expected value of x, so we want to calculate the mean, basically, then what we all we need to do is differentiate this moment generating function with respect to t and evaluate it at t is equal to zero. So stick in the moment generating function here and then stick in the evaluate at t is equal to zero. So firstly what we need to do is differentiate this. So lambda of a to, to the power of a is just a constant. Lambda is some parameter, a is some parameter. They are fixed. Uh, yes, okay, you can vary them as long as they're greater than zero, uh, but uh, as once you've come up with your problem, those are fixed numbers. Um, yes, we're doing it in full generality, but as far as differentiating with respect to t is concerned, they are fixed, basically. Okay, so pull out lambda to the power of a, and then what we want to do is the derivative with respect to t of a lambda minus t to the power of negative a. Okay, now how do you do different derivatives like this? Well, you apply the chain rule, so you say, view this as being a single variable in here, and then it's to the power of negative a. The way we differentiate that, so this derivative is going to become, we lower the power by 1, so we say, okay, subtract 1 of that power, and then multiply through by the old power, which is negative a. And then what we say is we have to now differentiate what's inside. So we have to differentiate with respect to t, lambda minus t. So we multiply this by the derivative with respect to t of lambda minus t. Well, that is just going to equal minus 1. So we're just going to get minus 1 from there. So that minus and that minus will cancel. So that will cancel with that. And we'll get a over... And now this is minus a minus 1. So that is lambda minus t to the... Uh, a plus 1, basically, but now in the denominator. So negative A is going to give you uh, lambda minus T over, uh, sorry, 1 over lambda minus T to the A, and minus 1 is going to give you 1 over lambda minus T. Uh, so when they combine, you're going to get 1 over lambda minus T to the power of A plus 1. Okay, and uh, what we got rid of, of course, was this lambda over A. Uh, so let's put that back, and we get A times lambda over to the power of a over lambda minus t to the power of a plus 1. Now what we need to do, obviously, is uh, evaluate that at t is equal to 0. So the expected value of x is going to equal a lambda to the power of a over, now what we need to do is evaluate this at 0, so t is just 0 now, and we get lambda over a plus 1 uh, to the power of a plus 1, um, and uh, then that cancels with the lambda to the a up here, so we get a over lambda, basically, is the expected value of x. Okay, right, uh, so now uh, let us uh, continue on and find the second moment of uh, the uh, gamma distribution. So let's now find the expected value of x squared. Okay, and uh, that's going to be the second derivative with respect to t uh, of uh, the moment generating function. So lambda to the power of a over lambda minus t to the power of a and then evaluate that at t is equal to 0. Well, we've already differentiated this once. We've got this over here. So this now just becomes the derivative with respect to t of this thing that's already been differentiated once. a lambda to the a, lambda minus t to the power of a plus 1, um, all evaluated at t is equal to 0. Right. Uh, so now let's calculate uh, what this is going to be. As far as the derivative is concerned, the a lambda to the power of a is just a constant, so let's pull that out. And then we get the derivative with respect to t of uh, lambda minus t to the power of negative a plus 1, basically. Okay, uh, And then evaluate that at t is equal to 0. Well, this derivative, again, what we need to do is view this as being a variable in here, differentiate with respect to that variable, and then apply the chain rule. Okay, so if we want to differentiate uh, with respect to lambda minus t, effectively, uh, what we need to do is uh, lower this power by 1 and multiply through by the old power. So what we get is 
a lambda to the a out the front, then we get minus a plus 1 here, and then what we get is lambda minus t to the power of negative a, uh, now it's minus 2 basically, uh, so what we've done is subtract another one off there, so we had minus a minus 1, now we've got minus a minus 2, and now we're times in by the derivative of lambda minus t, which is again just minus 1. So the minus 1 there and the minus 1 here cancel, and we get that this is going to be a times a plus 1 times lambda to the power of a over lambda minus t to the power of a plus 2, basically. Okay, so that's the second derivative. So what we now want to do is evaluate that at t is equal to 0.